Well, thank you very much for joining us here at Family Night. Um, we're very excited to bring out the next guest. She is a wonderful creator, um, incredibly creative being who has actually um, is going to be joining us and sitting very close to us. Please welcome the wonderful Kate N. V. Welcome, Kate. Hi. How are you today? I'm great. Awesome. Amazing. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. We're, we're very excited to have you on the couch, or at least hovering around the couch. And we have a few questions to get to know you a bit better. Is that okay if we ask you a few uh, mild-mannered questions? Yes, sure. Wonderful. Now, the first question I have is, um, my, my first... Now, my first question I have, Kate, is, and be honest with me. <laughs> Wait, Kate is over here. Kate is here. here. Kate, my first question is, what in your opinion is the most amazing animal? Wow, it's a very complicated question. Mm. It's interesting, because the first thing that got into my head is pigeon, but I don't like pigeons at all. But um, maybe they are amazing. I like yes, like every each animal is amazing. I love all of them. But <laughs> pigeons are weird, but they're kind of cool. <laughs> um, uh, maybe um, I think bats. Bats are cool, although um, because of the pandemic, people don't like them. I guess. And, um, yeah, I'll stick to that. <laughs> well, I think that's really nice of you to give bats a bit of a, their, a chance. their share. <laughs> yeah, give bats a bit of a chance. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Kate. Now, I have another follow-up question to that, and that is, okay, this is a bit silly, but, okay, imagine the zombie apocalypse is coming, Kate, and... You can bring, <laughs> this is funny, but who are the three Disney characters you want to bring with you on your team? Wow, this is also a very complicated question. I mean, it's easier for me to uh, name some anime characters in Disney. That sounds great, yeah. Three, any uh, cartoons would be wonderful. Okay, that's so, so much easier. So I would definitely uh, bring Sailor Moon. She's she's my favorite, and um, Eva, because uh, I'm a huge fan of Evangelion, and um, yeah, Unit uh, One, and um, and the third one is going to be oh Cowboy Bebop, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You think they would be they would be able to assist you in a zombie apocalypse? Oh man, they will save everyone. Like, there's no chance we're gonna die. <laughs> it's just they they will save everyone. <laughs> it's easier, yes. like it's easier for them than for Disney characters, I guess. They're it's true. Disney characters are very weak. <laughs> Comparing to <laughs> anyway, yeah. They're known for their weakness. <laughs> well, I'm glad we changed the question then, in order to. <laughs> protect you a little bit more now I have a, a, a bit of a simpler questions a simpler question for you then um, what do you prefer between fruits and vegetables uh, I prefer fruits got it now this next question is a bit scary for me to ask it's a bit hard for me to get through but um, do you believe in ghosts I do believe in ghosts. Yes, definitely. Sometimes I think, I, I wish I could see some ghosts, but then I remember that it's not that funny, actually. 
to see a ghost, probably. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. It's something that, you know, we may end up seeing at some point in our lives, but it could happen at the time we least expect it. Yes, and um, it's pretty scary, actually. Yeah. It's something that uh, we should be prepared for, though. Now, how do you how do you prepare for that? Well, I mean, you, you, you can you can just I mean, I'm a huge TikTok fan, and usually, sorry, it's just like very weird information coming, and uh, <laughs> oh, go ahead. there is like a wi like witch talk side of TikTok and spiritual talk, and people are telling their stories when they meet ghosts or like they travel astral traveling or something and it's pretty interesting it's not like i'm preparing myself but it's very interesting to to hear all the stories and um watch those videos so yeah <laughs> i mean yeah if you learn enough about them you know what to do oh yeah probably carry a knife <laughs> i don't know if that would work why not <laughs> I've never tried, but I think I feel like ghosts don't mind that stuff. Okay. Well, if you believe. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Yeah. You have to believe. Yeah. yeah, you have to believe definitely. It's not like I'm trying to kill someone with a ghost or not, but no, not at all. <laughs> um, hey, Kate, what's your guilty pleasure? I don't know. Do, do you know what a, your guilty pleasure is when you have a bit of free time from the work week? Um, actually, I'm that kind of person that thinks that there is not no such thing as guilty pleasure. Like nowadays, because everything you can do whatever you want and it's fine. And um, I mean, some people think that listening to a very pop music is a guilty pleasure, but I'm a huge fan of different pop stars, so it's not even a guilty pleasure for me. But yeah, it's just... Probably I would say procrastination is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> sure. It's just something that I like, not like to basically doing nothing. And uh, But I also think it's okay, so it's not even a guilty ple pleasure. It's just like a normal thing to do. Yeah, I'm definitely guilty of that. And <laughs> Jerry, I don't know. Are you? Do you procrastinate, Jerry? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bring up the sore subject. Feel, yeah, I feel guilty about a lot of things. What kind of things? Oh, the cr crimes. And, um... Crimes? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we should that's move okay. past that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, now let's talk about other things. Okay, so Kate, um, ca you know carousels or merry-go-rounds, carousels. Yeah. yeah. It, if if how could carousels be spiced up um, so they're more exciting? It, would it be possible? Ooh, good question. Mm, probably, if they're not gonna be like round, really, like probably traveling through the city, you know, when you just go and you pick up the horse and then you travel through the city and it's very like, you know, you have your own uh, path, you know, traveling. It's it's like you have your special, like a bike lane, but like a carousel lane <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, pick I your horse that. and then you just travel that would be amazing I would love to I just imagine it like somewhere in LA because like it's a city of roads <laughs> so you have this additional way to travel and sometimes maybe when it's traffic it's it probably it's going to be like the, the fastest way to get somewhere and it's also funny because you'll have to take a weird uh, vehicles like I don't know sausage or um like a horse or a dragon 
so people are gonna ride those weird things just to get somewhere from A to B. <laughs> I think that is a very good idea. Yeah, we could have carousel lanes all over LA, and yeah, I'm yeah, into Yeah, that would be so cool. And also, like, you know, with all these lights and, like, funny stuff, you know, this this is that would be, like, a very funny lane with maybe artificial palms and all of this lighting, etc. Yeah. I'm in. Let's see. How about you look around and assess how satisfied are you with your environment, where we are? How how do you how satisfied do you feel with this desert environment that we're around right now? You know, what's one thing you love about it? I love this uh, shining uh, behind those mountains because, like, I was thinking about it yesterday, thinking like I should should travel somewhere during winter to see it. And now I'm here, which is also cool because I don't like winter and I'm in the desert and still you can see the shining. See? That's amazing. Yesterday you had the thought you wish you could yeah. see it? Yeah. <laughs> Dreams come true. I mean, I should I should probably articulate it um, precisely. <laughs> More precisely. No. But yeah, it's it's cool actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really like glad that it's happening. The way it's happening. Because, yeah, I feel com comfortable. Yeah, you're not shivering. <laughs> yeah, you it's true. It. Yeah. I mean, I'm floating in the desert. That's, that sounds comfortable. Yeah. Have a body to worry about. Yeah, definitely. Any afflictions, any, yeah. any sores. I'm just, just a kind of... head in a hat. And I have yeah. hands. Which is very handy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Having a body sucks. I know. <laughs> I'm very envious of Kate Envy right now. No, I have to pee all the time. So hungry. Yeah. And now. Sucks. Yeah, my feet get really uh, calloused. That's never. Fun to deal with. Yeah, you also have to go to to bed each every day and go to sleep. Oh my god! Got to sleep all the time. Fifteen hours a day. I love to sleep though. I love I love. To I love sleep. to sleep when I want like to. One... Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, when you have to do some stuff, it's like uh, I have to sleep. But I mean, it's so it's so cool to sleep actually. It's my, one of my favorite things to do. And, like. In the whole entire world, I love cycling. I love making music, and I love to sleep. This is... I mean, that sounds so nice. You can do it all in one day. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for me. Yeah, that's wonderful. Sleeping is interesting. Do you, would you prefer to dream or be in deep sleep where you can't? There's nothing. I sometimes I prefer to see some dreams, but it depends on what kind of dreams I'm saying. Yesterday I had a dream uh, where I actually I was moving from my apartment to another one, and I had a, a roommate, and uh, she was very weird, and she had a bird, and the name of the bird was uh, President. I just. <laughs> The, the the dream was pretty weird, but I just when I woke up, my first thought was, well, actually, it's a very good name for a bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, if I had a bird, I would name it President. Just very cool name. So yeah. I love that. Yeah, maybe. You I had could... a neighbor who had hundreds of birds. Oh wow. Too many birds. It's so loud. Hundreds of birds in cages? Yeah. Wow. Well, at least in cages. I mean, it would be yeah, very interesting if they were just flying around. <laughs> yeah, ra oh, randomly dirty. You cannot predict. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be good luck when you get their uh, feces on you. 
it's supposed to be good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you're kind of increasing your luck, I guess, by having to live in your house with no cage. Yeah, if you have hundreds, you're bound to get <laughs> hit some way. I mean, I think we maybe could do one last question. I mean, Jerry, did you have any questions for Kate that you, you had in mind? No. Okay, what about uh what's Kate what songs would be played on a loop in hell? In hell. Oh my yeah, god. I'm sorry I, to bring it there, but yes. I know, I have two songs. I have two songs. Um oh Jesus, I forgot the name of the first one. <laughs> so it's uh the first one is uh, the band The Scorpions. Do you know this band? It's very popular. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Terrible band. Uh, yeah, Wind of Changes. <laughs> Wind that of would changes. be like a, like a real hell uh, for me. So, Wind of Changes, the one that w with the whistle in the beginning. Do, 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 do. I don't like it. And the second one, um, it it's not like I hate this song the way I hate Wind of Changes. Sorry, Scorpions. I mean, like, sorry, Scorpion... Scorpions fan fans. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I also sorry. apologize to, the, like, to not them. Not my cup of tea. You really don't want to piss off the international Scorpion fans. Yeah, fan base. Um, community. Yeah, um, I was just... It's, really it's sorry, It's just not my cup of tea. And the second song, and I'm also very sorry, but it's uh, the band Smash Mouth. Uh... So famous. <laughs> yes. Uh, the one that stars somebody. <laughs> yeah, classic. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's sort of a pretty inspirational yeah, song. I guess it would be nice if you were in hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also like very. Uh, yeah, inspirational. It's a good word. It just makes uh, your life uh, funnier and like just. Well, that's yeah, that's very good. I mean, if we can have our lives be a bit funnier, I think we'd be smiling more. We'd right. I mean, things would be better, and I think probably that's why I'm thankful that you're here with us, Kate. Because I'm smiling. I think everyone watching is smiling, and um, I, I think you also brought in a video for us to play. Is that right? Yes, I brought a video. It's well, a that's video wonderful. of me yeah. walking. Should I should I tell someone? Like it's a spoiler. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll oh watch well, it anyway. we can just we can just play it. But yeah, is there anything you want to say about it, or should we just simply let everyone see? Um, maybe I just say that it was filmed during the pandemic in Moscow. It was like end of spring, and um, yeah, we just left it and didn't touch it till yesterday or not yesterday like a couple of days ago and um so yeah so it's interesting because like uh, th the city was almost empty and there were a few cars only and uh interesting time amazing all right well let's let's watch the video let's do it
thank you so much for coming. Um, I hope you are able to get home safely, or your head, I don't, the body. I don't even want to ask too many questions. <laughs> it's so easy to travel when you just uh, head in the head. It's just like you just fly away. And that's it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like uh, you got it all figured out. It's awesome. And we appreciate you. We appreciate you coming. Thank you very much, Kate. And um, I hope you had a good me. family night. You're officially yeah. in the family. Thank you. So cool. Whoa, bye. Bye, Kate. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Everyone, that was Kate N V. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Internal family.